When I remember as the Prophet said, death, I won't be stingy to say one more I love you for those people that I love before I travel or before I go to work or before I sleep because I know that my life and their life is not guaranteed. So I won't sleep before I give them one more affection. One more I love you in a way that if I die this night, the last souvenir was I love you. Great. Islam is great. Because I'm thinking about death, I know that their life is not for granted until I come back from Houston, for example. So before I go, I will be generous enough not only to say I love you, but to hug and kiss and give affection. Do you understand? Kiss? Yes. Hug? Yes. Say I love you? Yes. Give affection? Yes. So if I come back and one of them is dead, I know that the last thing I told him, I love you with a smile and a hug and a kiss. How does it feel? On the other hand, if I don't remember death and I don't use the teachings of Muhammad, okay, now خلاص, I go to Houston, okay, I close the door, I slam the door and I go, Allah. And when I come back to, from Houston, I will fix the problem. And one of them died. How would I feel? That the last souvenir was that I slammed the door. That I went frowning from my house. How will, feel, how will it feel? If it was for my son, daughter or my wife. How much regret I will feel. How miserable I will feel the rest of my life. Going to her grave and uh, honey bunny, my wife, Habibit Albi, I wish I have told you I love you before I go. So when you implement the teachings of Muhammad, the wisest is the one who remembers death a lot, you will know that their life or your life is not for granted. So you won't be stingy and you will fix the matter. Don't tell me it's not fixed. Normally men, they know better. You can bring the problem as big as you want and you make it, you can make it as small as you want. It depends on you. Put your ego aside and implement the teachings of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.